Hi, this video is going to show you how to translate a Google Slides presentation. There's a couple of different ways that you might be able to do this. The most tedious but maybe most straightforward way is to copy and paste all the text that you want to translate into a tool like Google Translate and then put it back into your slide deck. The way that I'm going to show you how to do it is using an AI add-on called Plus AI for Google Slides. It's an extension that lives right inside of your Google Slides document and will allow you to translate your text and content inside of Google Slides using AI. So here's how it works. This is a quick overview of all the different steps. So the first step is getting the Plus AI add-on. To do that, you can either click, in the, click the link in the description below or just do a Google search for Plus AI for Google Slides. The next step is going to be opening the Edit sidebar. So you can either open it from the Extensions menu here and click Edit with Plus AI, or you can even type it into the search field and Edit with Plus AI will come up after you install the extension. Now that Plus AI is open, you can see there's a couple of different functions that I have here. I'll skip over most of these for now and just go straight to Rewrite. The Rewrite function allows you to do a bunch of different things to your slide decks, and one of them is translations. So I'll open up the slide deck that I have down here. Uh, this is a plot summary of the book, Great Expectations. And in here, I'm going to say, translate this content into Spanish. If you click the button, that's what automatically prefills. So what I can do is this slide, I want it to be translated into Spanish. I make sure I write that into my rewrite notes. And then I just press the rewrite current slide button. And then what'll happen is Plus AI will automatically go and translate this slide content, all of it, into Spanish. Here we are. So all of this has been translated into Spanish. I may want to go through and read it, make sure it all looks accurate. And you probably want to proofread or have someone else who speaks Spanish go and proofread it for you. One of the nice things about this being a Google Slides add-on too is that you can use all the native Google Slides functionality. So if I want to undo that change and quickly compare what it was before to what it is now, I can hit undo redo. I can also do something like leave a comment and I might want to tag someone else on my team who does speak Spanish to check the translation for me. The way that Plus AI works, Spanish is just one language that it can translate into, but if I wanted to do something else, I can say something like translate this content into Chinese, hit the rewrite button, and it will go and write all of this again in Chinese without having to do any special setup or uh, complex workflow to work on different languages. There we go. Now the slide's been written in Chinese as well. Uh, if I want to go and translate all the other slides in my deck, it's as easy as flipping through and just hitting the rewrite button a few different times. Uh, while you're here, something else that I want to show you is that you can actually use Plus AI to create new content and new slides uh, in other languages as well. So if I click Plus AI and press the New Presentation with Plus AI button, it will open up Plus, and I can come in here and say, create a presentation about the book Great Expectations in Spanish. Uh, alternatively, instead of saying in Spanish, I can write my prompt in Spanish. So we can try that as well. And just hit the Generate Outline button. And what Plus will do now is go and create an outline in Spanish for this presentation about great expectations. Now you can see Plus has created an outline of my presentation. I can review to make sure that I think all this makes sense. And then once I'm ready, I can hit the Generate button and Plus will go and actually create the entire deck for me. Now, if I scroll to the bottom of my presentation, you can see here's the new set of slides, all written in Spanish. Then if I want to do something like translate this back into English, I can go back to my Edit tab, write Translate This into English, 
hit the rewrite slide button, and we'll go and convert it back into whatever language you select. The last thing I want to show you is how you might be able to use plus to create a multilingual slide where you have multiple languages in the same slide. For that, I'll use the plus remix tool and select a two column layout. Here, I'll say something like summarize this slide in two columns and hit the remix button. What this will do with Plus is we will tell the AI to redesign the slide as a slide with two different columns. And what I'm going to do afterwards is translate one of those columns into Spanish. So I'm actually going to move this over here. Now I'll just clean up these bullet points a little bit before I translate it back. So what you'll see now is I have two columns with the same text in English. What I'm going to do is select one of these columns, use the rewrite button, and say translate this content into Spanish, but hit the rewrite selected text button this time so it doesn't translate the entire slide. And I'll do the same thing for the slide title. And just like that, I now have a multilingual slide with English on the left, Spanish on the right. I might do a little bit more to clean this up in terms of formatting, uh, but basically I have all the content written in two languages now. Thanks for watching this video about how to translate Google Slides. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below and check out the blog post that we linked there for more detailed walkthroughs about how to use Plus and how to use AI to transform your presentations. Thanks.